kind of a recap, I'm going to go over a few of these quotes that I read earlier that have been read by the critics, or stated by the critics, and point out what is said and what isn't said. Um, these are from Brigham Young, or in the journal Discourses. Uh, again, when our father Adam um, realized that the titles and everything are not set in stone, we don't know exactly who is referenced or in what means they were referenced, etc. Says, when our father Adam came into the Garden of Eden, he came into it with a celestial body and brought Eve, one of his wives, with him. Notice that could reference both, um, that could be referencing the father, it could be referencing Adam and Eve. He helped to make and organize this world. That could be referencing God the Father or Adam and Eve because we believe they likely held a, had a role in creating this world. He is Michael, the Archangel of the Ancient of Days, about whom holy men have written and spoken. Uh, that could be tied to both also. Uh, he is our Father and our God, and the only God with whom we have to do. Uh, Adam can be that in the sense that everything, all of the priesthood keys, we believe in our theology, will be given back in the order they were given until they're handed back to Adam, and then from Adam they will be handed to Christ. Uh, so in that sense, Adam is, uh, in some terms, a god of this world, but he is not the god we worship. He's the only god, um, as it says here, with whom we have to do, because he's the one through all the priesthood, all the priesthood keys go through him before reaching and being handed back to Jesus Christ and being presented to the Father. Um, so, uh, he is our Father and our God, and the only God with whom we have to do is not simplistic uh, and doesn't have the extrapolations and assumptions behind it that constitute what is the God theory. And that is why Spencer W. Kimball's denunciation of the Adam God theory is, is completely in line and does not actually conflict inherently with the statements of Brigham Young.